Hello everybody, welcome to Imran's commentary channel and in this video I will be showing you how to present your research paper or your research article in international conference and I will show you the procedures and steps that you may follow for presenting uh, your so research paper in international conference. I will subsequently discuss what sort of options and uh, sections you may follow in your uh, total presentation. So first of all, in the slide you will be presenting in the international conference or conference in your university or anywhere so in order to present your paper you must have to create slide files and that is uh, prerequisite for most of the conferences so what things you may include in your slides i will be uh, telling that subsequently first so first of all you would have to give a slide uh, presenting the title of your research paper and you may also add your uh, short bio on the first slide uh, giving your designation where you study or where you are in a professional job anything else so you may uh, allocate the first file or first slide for this purpose presenting the name and uh, name of your paper and uh, of your information so second slide you may allocate for introducing the topic so this is all about the introduction you may uh, give uh, the sort of ideas what your paper is all about uh, in the in the, this uh, slide so you have to give the general uh, view of your research paper in this slide and second uh, and then you may have to show the objectives of your research paper what were the uh, objectives core objectives i would say you, know, you can uh, present that in that particular slide and next slide can be uh, presenting with the central question of your research paper basically uh, core objectives and central questions both are intertwined often very similar to each other so you may create separate uh, uh, slides or you may also uh, you may choose to only uh, show the objectives in a single slide then you will have to uh, give space for research methodology this section is very important for presenting your research paper in any conference because uh, research methodology is very crucial to build a research paper and you will have to be questioned about it if you do not present it very correctly obviously choosing the right methodologies uh, for a particular research area is very important so you have to identify what sort of research methodology you are choosing is it qualitative quantity and what, what sort of methods you are using for example experimental uh, in-depth interviews or uh, participation observation anything that you have choose uh, for uh, conducting your research then you will have to uh, come to the question of participation or the sample size so how many people were interviewed or how many people were participated in your research you must clear you must clearly uh, demonstrate that on your uh, slide in a separate slide i would uh, suggest and you also have to uh, talk about the sample size uh, or the experiments that you have done for the uh, uh, researchers who basically working on scientific uh, uh, or science related topics so you have to define your uh, part, uh, sample size that you have worked on then now we are moving to the final section which is very crucial and you will have to present your uh, results in a, a deeper manner to uh, in the conference so first thing you will have to show the key findings in this section you will have to show what are the uh, major findings or very interesting findings that you have get from uh, from the from your study from your experiment or from your um, examination in the field or, uh, or lab so in this section you will just uh, you will have to present the core and, and interesting and notable ideas do not uh, bring all the results you have got uh, in your experiments or in your analysis only show the uh, important uh, aspects that uh, may be uh, that will create appeal among the audiences among the audience so then you will have to uh, uh, go to the results section after showing your key findings then now it is your turn to uh, go to the discussion part which is uh, very your personal analysis 
or ideas uh, that you are going to uh, uh, produce on the basis of the result that you have get in your examination so discussion part just show your core arguments what you how do you interpret the results you must create a very co cohesion and uh, orderly manner you must present uh, with logical uh, layers after layers uh, on the basis of your result uh, so give utmost focus on this particular uh, area because uh, people uh, basically get the core ideas of yourself from this particular uh, point then the last section you may say it last section that recommendation section this is very important for uh, uh, research uh, presentation in conference because in policy oriented conferences uh, uh, the organizers or the authority who arrange, arranges uh, the uh, conference want to uh, know what sort of way forward that uh, the researchers are, are uh, uh, pushing forward so you must have to create a recommendation section separately then show the unique uh, recommendations that you think uh, viable uh, for uh, the further study or further improvement of that particular area do not go with the conventional suggestions try to be unique and try to be creative in this particular option uh, to make your uh, study more relevant and more appealing among the academia and policy planners as well and then you may end with uh, uh, conclusion you may choose to omit conclusion because you have already uh, showed so, your, uh, you will be in high time pressure so i will suggest one thing uh, in last that many uh, research presenters uh, in international conferences uh, mistake that they write a lot of words in their slides so it makes highly boring just think of your teachers who actually bought a lot of uh, slides and uh, presenting uh, lines after lines uh, on the screen you must have been uh, bored with that particular teacher's class so this is the also the case with the audience they do not like to read a lot of things because if they have to write a lot of things on the screen or the projectors then they would not be able to uh, read your uh, uh, delivery so you must be creative in this way of showing your data on slide very shortly that will make your uh, conference presentation very attractive and appealing so this is all from me good luck those who are going to present their research paper in international conference for getting such academic and research related ideas uh, stay with us we will be providing with some uh, sort of research related techniques and uh, presentation methods and other sort of things in our channel stay with Imran's commentary thank you everyone